I gotta say, the Chinese know how to make a terrible scotch. They certainly do. Oh, it's bad. Get you drunk, though. Well, I found all the worms. They're eating a fox corpse in the outhouse. Speaking of which, I'm getting hungry. What's for dinner? Dinner? <laughs> yes, of course, dinner. Did you not pack any food? There's fresh fox. Oh, it is not fresh. Are you serious? We stopped three times on the way up here to buy fireworks, and you never thought to get groceries? What was in those coolers? The fireworks. Look, I thought we would be incredible at fishing. Excuse me for believing in us. It'll be okay, guys. No need to worry. I just took a foraging class, and not to brag, I was voted Mr. Fungus. Aha, Mr. Fungus to the rescue. See, Sarge, everything's gonna work out and you don't have to stress all the time. Boy, you really think you can find us dinner? <laughs> um, let's just say it's gonna be a sporgus board. Something bad happened to Charles, didn't it? Big time. Oh God, what if the last thing we ever heard him say was sporgus board? Charles! Charles! I'm starting to get worried, Jake. Relax. If anybody can handle it out here, it's Charles. He saw Into the Woods ten times in the theater. Watch it. That's poison ivy. Whoa! Good call. I'm allergic to poison ivy. I got it one time at sports camp making out in the woods with Liz Almont. Okay, fine. We weren't making out. I was looking for my inhaler, and it wasn't sports camp. It was asthma camp. Hey, Jay. Are we lost? What? No. We're on an adventure, right? Charles is dead and we're next. All right, don't be so melodramatic. He's probably chewing on bark and berries, having the time of his life safe and sound. Terry, Jake! Ho ho, what's that I hear? Charles Boyle, safe and sound? What are you saying, Charles, that you're having the time of your life? I found a sinkhole and I'm badly hurt! Damn it! Boyle, what the hell? I know, it's a pretty big hole, right? How'd you end up down there? I spotted a gorgeous chanterelle. I reached for it, but then I rolled my ankle and fell in. All right, buddy, don't worry. We got you, okay? I was so scared of you guys. The psychic told me I was going to die alone in a pit, and I kept telling myself, there's a hole, not a pit. 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 Charles, there's a hole, not a pit. There's all a right. Hole, not a pit. Here, grab me. Ugh. Take my hand, all right? Okay. Okay, now pull us up, Terry. Oh crap, I'm slipping! Ah! Oh. This isn't working. Great trip, Jake. Oh, thanks, man. You know that was sarcastic. Ow. You didn't bring food or water or ask if Low Hank's cabin was straight out of a horror movie. Now you got us trapped in a pit. Oh, okay, I know that things are not looking great right now, but you have to admit you were having fun earlier. I'm not now. I'm more stressed than ever. Maybe that's because you're just focusing on the negative, Tear Bear. I mean, look at Charles. He's chill. I'm chill. It's because he's in shock. You know what? The reason you're so chill is because you have everyone cleaning up your messes for you. Didn't bring food? Charles will find mushrooms. Smash through a window? Terry will do the paperwork. Hey, I did the paperwork. No, Amy did it! Oh, God, please, please calm down. I hate it when you argue. It reminds me of when my daddy used to fight with my best friend. My mom. I'm done with this. I'm going to sleep. Charles, spoon with me. We need to huddle together for warmth. No. Charles, you're my best friend. You're going to spoon with me. I called first spoon. Charles, get over here right now. Boyle, don't throw away a lifelong friendship for a one-night spoon with Terry. OK, enough. We're going to stop fighting. We're going to lie down. We're going to triple spoon like grown-ups. Come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. There, OK. See, that's better, right? So do we know any songs? Shut up, Charles! Jake, where's Jake? Did you eat him, Terry? No! Good morning, guys. How'd you get out of the pit? Easy peasy, lamb and squeezy. Actually, it took me hours. I tied all my clothes together, tethered them to a log, and used it as a grappling hook. Managed to snag it in a root. Aren't you freezing? Not at all. Mainly because my skin is on fire from all the poison ivy in this tree. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, let me guess. Dumb mistake. No, dumb choice. I didn't want to sit around and wait for somebody to clean up my mess. Hmm. I guess I got through to you. Yeah. Also, after you fell asleep, Boyle really laid into me. It was brutal. I gotta say, Jake, this time, I think you're only 99% right. <sighs> We're rolling. No! No! <laughs> well, can you see anything from up there? Yes, I can. Stink Puddle Manor. About 65 trees sunward. Man, one day in the woods and I'm friggin' Lewis and Clark up here. 